Every morning, murky water pours out of the faucet of an old woman's home. She has resorted to installing makeshift home filters in an attempt to have clean water. The response she receives when confronting the local government? To be grateful they even have water. This is the depressing reality for millions of Malaysians across the country. This is Malaysia, a nation with a GDP not too dissimilar to that of its first world neighbor, Singapore. However, unlike its counterpart and despite the statistic, Malaysia is staring down a dangerous path. While not an acute problem, if it doesn't do anything about its looming food security crisis soon, it could end up in a dire situation, one where millions of its inhabitants go without food. With the ongoing and serious threat of climate change and global tensions rising, Malaysia is in serious need of reducing its dependencies on foreign food imports. However, not all hope is lost for this nation's unsure future, as there are solutions to the problem that can be derived from science, technology, and innovation. The keys to food security lie in four components, which the Committee on World Food Security, or CFS, defines as availability, access, utilization, and stability. plays a crucial role in ensuring food security, being the lifeblood of everything we eat. Malaysia has vast potential as an agricultural nation with um, large swaths of arable land which was um, warm all year round. For the most part, the land is well utilized in growing crops, so the issue clearly isn't in um, un untapped potential of the land, but rather in what the land is being used to produce. Currently, just south of 81% of arable land in Malaysia is being used for industrial crops, which refers to um, inedible crops such as rubber. This is an issue as it leads to domestic food supply vulnerable to external shocks. Another issue arising from this is a lack of crop diversity, which leads to soil resources being restrained and, um, and, is a, and has an increased risk of disease and pest outbreaks. The root of this problem is the profit profitability of industrial crops, which um, leads to large corporations disproportionately prioritizing these crops. Well, this regarding food um, crops to add salt to the wound. While this regarding food, uh, well, this to add to to add salt to the wound. These big farms also buy out and transform small independent farmers from food crop producers to industrial crop producers. Some rather new advancements in biology have also brought about biotechnology, which is currently being used to study genetically modified organisms, also known as triatos, to produce crops with higher yields, greater resistance to pests and disease, and a better taste of consumers. Biology also helps us understand the life cycle and nutritional needs of crops, livestock, and marine life alike, which helps us cater to their needs and foster their growth and flourishing. Chemistry plays an important role in establishing food security. It helps us better our understanding of the chemical makeup of our food and how these chemicals affect and benefit our bodies, which will help us with utilization. Chemistry can also help develop new supplements and flavorings, reducing our reliance on certain, possibly endangered species, which will have a positive effect on our ecosystem. Chemistry can also improve the quality of our food by allowing us to extract certain contaminants from our food. New, more effective environmentally friendly pesticides and fertilizers are also being developed using chemical knowledge, which will further ensure food security. Physics plays a more indirect but equally important role in food security. It provides insights into the physical properties of our food, helping determine the nutritional quality and energy quantity of our food. Physics also help in developing new diagnostic um, technologies for fraud detection. These are instrumental in utilizing our food effectively. Monocrop agriculture causes soil erosion, which has a negative effect on crops. As crops fail to withstand years of rain and wind, they lose a considerable amount of their soil, which reduces the nutrients available to crops. Physics has helped us devise a solution to this problem, which is planting crops with deep roots and a wide area of sheltering for soil, alongside the harvesting crops. These crops are usually known as cover crops. Trees are also widely used with the additional benefit of helping combat climate change. Mathematics plays a more analytical role in food security, helping to determine the optimal resource allocation, assess the risks involved, and predict crop, crop yields. Mathematics also greatly improves logistical efficiency, allowing goods to travel much faster than without it. Mathematics can also help solve the interesting problem of too much food ending up in too few people's hands, as it can reduce food wastage by calculating the ideal amount of food for a person to eat based on their weight and gender, among other factors. Mathematics also helps keep track of food stocks and calculate how long they will last, and align them with seasonal crop yields to create a system that is never too strained. Geometry can also be used to effectively use available space and make sure none is wasted with optimal irrigation and lighting. Additionally, mathematics will be very important in the long term, as it can be used to create a well-planned employment structure in the country, especially with Malaysia in particular, with its young working age population. It also has a substantial number of youth poised to enter the workforce, further contributing to the manpower in Malaysia. This means it is in prime position to bolster its food crop production by encouraging young people to work in agricultural fields. So what can Malaysia do? And is its future in peril? Well, for Malaysia to effectively secure its future as a food-rich country, it needs to be able to thoroughly integrate STI into its agricultural sector while making sure that enough resources are devoted to food production. It also needs to evenly distribute food around the country and educate people on healthy diets. Many of these new technologies that were discussed in, the, in this video are already being fielded in foreign countries, so Malaysia could borrow some inspiration from them. In conclusion, with the right focus and sufficient investment in STIs, Malaysia could pull itself out of its food security crisis 